<laughs> Brother, I'm still a beginner at City Kickboxing. But let me say thank you to my team. Thank you to everyone that supports me. More importantly, thank you to those who don't. You put a chip on my shoulder, made me go harder. Don't let anyone dim your light. If they try to put out your fire, pour some gas on that. Blow it up. I love you. See, <laughs> see the after party. Don't stop, baby. Hey, this is a UFC 293 reaction on West Coast Radio. Oh, oh. MMA Sports Talk. I'm DJ MTK. We got DJ Ray Ray here. And we're going to go over the card. We're going to get right into it. A uh, minute and a half. We'll put on the bell. So we got Tyson Pedro, who was nine and four versus uh, Anton. Take it. Yes, <laughs> versus uh, a man who is a really solid stand-up, Anton Turkali Turkalch, and um, really just man Tyson. That guy should be Iron M Tyson Pedro because uh, that was very, 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 very exciting, man. Very explosive hands, explosive fight. I mean, I think he might even got the bonus, you know, what I mean, for the night because that was well done, man. Well deserved. I mean, first round, right? Yep. He, yep, he's, was he from right. New Zealand? He's from Australia, too. Australia, Australia. And you just heard his post fight interview. Yes. He said, pour some gasoline on that bitch, bro. I was <laughs> like, I was like, dog. I need that's. I need to hear that every morning when I wake the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, man, that, that's that, some, that's some great stuff. But you know what? Like, he put it on display. You can tell when someone puts in the work and and has that hyper focus, and then they go in and just execute because. Man, when I tell you he he landed the big shot and he did not hesitate, he didn't rush it and and overexert himself. He calculated Those were clean to... dinks. <clears throat> Out KO. Like, yeah, he like he he tapped him a couple times, rocked him, and then he just kept tapping him and just got him. Yes, sir. Got great him. fight. Great got fight. For sure. And and the ref called it at a good time because he could have put some damage on that boy. Yeah, he sure could have. Great, great put some call. Real, real damage. All right, we're going on to the next fight. All right, next fight we got uh, New Zealand heavyweight Justin Taffa versus yes. um, Austin, Austin Lane. Yeah, fight so, of the night. So yeah, Austin yeah. Lane is a former NFL player uh, drafted in the fifth round. Um, really solid, but has switched over to MMA, and he's very tall, okay. and he has he has solid hands. But okay. Mr. Taffa is uh is, is no the heavyweight. Pro. So we went yeah, from lightweight to heavyweight now. Okay. And was very calm and patient. So Austin used his his length and athleticism to move around the ring. Taffa just silently stalked him and patiently took some shots, you know, trying to get a distance. But once he closed the distance, whoa, I mean, dynamite hands, di dynamite hands. Austin literally didn't know where he was at. He thought he was in Austin, Texas, and he was in Australia. And that was... Mm, that was rough, man. That was rough. Hey, you know, um, I know you got the I know you like those heavyweights. Uh, it was the fir another first round knockout. An another uh, yeah. one in New Zealand. So New Zealand, Australia, you know, they're kind of in the same in same round part of the region almost. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was uh, almost a hometown win for him as well. He's like Samoan, I believe, or I could be wrong, but he he's a uh, right. Yeah, That's no, no, no. These boys are um, uh, they're. Um, from the indigenous people of Australia. So right. they, you oh, know. Oh, we're already on the next one. We're on the next one. Hey, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ding, 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 ding. Justin Taffa, hey, hey, let's get this next one. Okay, so let's get the Belga. Yeah, Manel Kappa, baby. Okay, hey, hey, let's go. Felipe Dos Santos. Hey, so everybody saw the weigh-in. Yeah, man, it was intense. And, and, then, and then they saw the the, <laughs> the the press conference when he, yeah. he, he, went, he, went, he went left, he went out of pocket. I was I mean, like, boy, you better, you better go in there. You yeah. better go with, but he it was like, was it necessary though? No, but I could see there's this new wave, man, of just building this hype, trying to get the you know, hyping themselves up, getting it. And you know what though? I don't mind it because of they delivered. They yeah. delivered a, a an entertaining well. So the Felipe Dos Santos was his first fight in there, right? Mm -hmm. and so he was the guy, and I think he against the top fight. ten. Yeah, against the top ten in the world. He had to fill in for someone that um that's why he was talking yeah. all that shit to the other dude, right? Yeah. And I was like, okay, Dos Santos left it all on the line. He did, though. But, you know, he, he had took a chance. Shots. He had a he chance. He gave shots. He showed excellent striking, excellent he conditioning. Shots. He took shots, yes. Excellent conditioning. And, you know, the, to to f come in and like your first debut against a top 10 in the world. and right. He's going to get another shot. 
deliver. I don't, I only think he, not only does he deserve another shot, but he was yeah. 23 years old. I'm almost guaranteeing within these three years, he will be in the top five. Ooh. He is that good. He was Ooh. that excellent. He was, he's, he's already at a level at a young age. I'm just telling you, if he keeps it was acting, exciting. He with that was, focus, let's go, was, man. He was exciting. Up. He was exciting. All right. Hey, we're on to the next fight here. Uh, co-main event. Co-main mm -hmm. event. Yes, we got a right. uh, yeah, okay. Take so it. Tai Tuivasa, who was the um fifth ranked in the world or sixth ranked in the world, going up against Alexander Volkov. And no, Tuivasa was number five. Alexander's number seven. And man, when I tell you this man is six seven and Russia from Russia. From Russia, but another well other the card. man, he is not he is a very built, good athletic size. He, he He's scary. He is honestly one of the most scariest heavyweights I've seen. And I think this car, I think. Well, after the first round, because what he got the submission in round two, right? Yeah, after he did. The he first did. round, uh, Ty Tuba, how do you say it? To, to, to Ivasa, I believe. Ivasa, he, he, he was down 0 1. Oh, yeah. He was he down. Was, and he, 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 was getting, he was getting rocked, and he knew he was trying to wipe it off. And he yeah. didn't. I knew he had a fighter's chance to go in there. And then when he went to the ground, um, homeboy pulled that submission off him. And, like, he had him choke, like, on top of him, like, fucking, all, like, you're on top of him, choke yeah. him. Well, at, that, him at that point, though, unlike the heavyweight fight from earlier, um, like Justin Taffa and Austin Lane, he, he couldn't get in there. So Ivasa couldn't. Alexander was just dangerous, man. He's Watch him. He's the next heavyweight on the rise, brother. He was clean. He was clean. clean. It was clean. Very clean. All Very right. Great. Main event. Wow. West Coast Radio, MMA Sports Talk with DJ MTK, wow. DJ Ray Ray, UFC 293 wow. reaction. And, you know, I think we're both going to have a lot to say. My man, I mean, when I tell you I have never seen – I want to just say this. I want to say this. In the let, ring. let me just let me take a quick yeah. step back. And I yeah. don't mind if we spend a few minutes on this one. Yeah, I got you. It, it, it is the main card. Leading up to the fight, the weigh-ins. <laughs> Strickland <laughs> didn't really like he wasn't eyeing him down. Yeah. You know what he I mean? was more he was more putting on a show. It was more showmanship. Well, even, but I just felt like he had the hat on, but he wasn't looking at him when they went to go step face yeah. to face. I don't I don't want to say he looked timid, but he just I don't I don't even know how to describe it. It wasn't like he's, an, wasn't he's in a, his face. You know, I saw a tweet or something that said that, you know, this was a big up for the average Joe. And he's not a cocky guy. He put in he puts in the work. He grinds. He shows up every day. He's in the gym. He grinds. He believes in himself. But he's not one of those guys that's like, you know, a, a, a very arrogant in, in a sense. You know, his confidence is the work he puts in. So I could see him trying to show personality, trying to draw in personality to himself to build his brand, you know, along the, you know. And you you have to sell it, right? You have to you, sell you it. Do. You have to well, sell because it. at this point, you want to maximize this platform you're going to be on. You know, if you want to be a Conor McGregor, you know, how many how many look at look at anderson silva anderson silva had a platform for a while and never in his country he may have but he could have maximized it in the states the way a conor mcgregor did use that platform to catapult his 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 notoriety Brand, Brand, yeah. you know, bring in more clicks draw in more you know a uh, 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 different uh, avenues yeah, to I bring agree. attention to himself let me ask you this then as they walked out yeah, you can feel the yeah, tightness. I, I kind of, yeah, I kind of still like he. Um, Adesanya was very loose. Oh, because he had been there before. This and, is, yeah, yeah. It was an, another day, another day in the office, almost. Yes, right? Another day in the office. Like came out. Yes. You know he. I don't know. He had. He was I was tight, like, okay. man. You can you can sense the tightness because but Adesanya was, gets a lot of respect. Adesanya is that man, though. You know, I just felt like that. He, that was his routine to hype himself. Like, how do I? I got to get in that zone. That that yeah. what you have to tap into that juice in order to to be in a fight. I think he had he had a game plan and he put the work in, mm -hmm. but he was getting himself prepared to execute. And I think he had yeah, a I think so too. execution. The yeah. plan was so the Philly shell. He was just yeah. 
Add no, a second to that. Strike. This is what this is what I love about MMA. If you don't put in the time to sharpen yourself in other aspects of MMA, you will get exposed in a fight that someone else is stronger, has strengths. What Strickland did was said, look, I don't have to worry about going to the ground. Adesanya wants to put on a show. He wants to faint, faint. He wants to kick. He doesn't want to drag me to the ground. So what's the best thing to do? I'm going to take a boxing technique that is really successful with Bernard Hopkins, with um, with Mayweather, Money Mayweather, this Philly shell where this striker can't get me. You know, he was a little square. And as who, a, have, as who, have you ever seen, who have you seen do that in UFC? He was the first. He was the I mean, first I've I, ever seen. Philly and I went show. back and watched some of the highlights. So it wasn't the first time he's done that. You know what I mean? I got you. So it wasn't like. But he, he is a boxer, though. He is a but, boxer. And But wasn't like Israel didn't know to kind of how he was. Uh, gonna, yeah. You know what I mean? So it was but it's the like, way he stocked him and he used the, the shell. If you notice, he kept. He yes, controlled that. He controlled the he middle controlled of that. Range. Where Adesanya was able to go left to right and fake, fake, but he would cut him off in a way that uh, Adesanya eventually would have his back to the, the, the cave. Yeah, and, and no matter what Adesanya was throwing, he was able to check the legs. He kept his, he, because he stayed in that Philly shell, he didn't have any weight on his front foot. So the moment Adesanya went to kick low, he wasn't heavy on his front foot, you know, trying to lean in with the box. That Philly shell kept him, you know, up and towards the center balance. So Adesanya couldn't attack low. The kicks weren't, weren't effective, you know, because he was blocking the kicks. He was using his elbows really well to to block kicks from Adesanya. It, Adesanya was struggling. You even felt it in the third or fourth round. He goes to his corner and he's trying to talk about the plan to like figure out what to do. And I can hear the desperation in his voice a little bit, like just trying to figure something out with his corner. Like, what can we do to get through? I, he me, didn't have a plan for it. Let me ask you this. Um, sometimes styles mess up your game plan. Yeah. You can have, you can think this is how it's going to go down, but a style can, it's almost like football. You know what I mean? Like someone's that pass heavy, run heavy, and oh. that, your style, it doesn't match up with this style. But, and they, for some reason, beat you nine, they beat you three yeah. out of four, right? Yep. But you go the next week and then yep. you get a fucking impressive win. Yes. So, and the team that you won would, would beat the team that you can't beat. You right, know what I mean? The team right. you blew kinda, out can then kinda, go and beat that team. Because I truthfully, I think, because I saw some of Strickland's knockouts, a couple people that knocked him out, and we had said this before, I think in order to beat Israel and Asanya, you got to have a Chel Sonnen mentality. This is a new Strickland, though. This Sean that you saw I'm against hoping, him. I'm hoping, because I think that he, I can still think, I still think he can get knocked out. I, of Machata, course, of course. But Machada yeah. had said something in the, um, I believe he's in the welterweight division, and, you know, he's ele he's ranked number 11. He's trying to call a shot. Motherfucker's a badass. Yeah, and so yeah. he, what he said was, and I told you before, he said in the interview yesterday that he felt like Izzy gave it, uh, gave it, gave him more the win than, than Strickland took the win. Nah, I give the credit to Strickland. I feel like Strickland deserved the credit for the win as opposed to Izzy deserving credit for the loss. Okay, it so you, was, know you know what he was trying to say, though, because yeah. Because it felt like, to me, Izzy's plan, that he had no plan, and then he he had no moves. He had no – he has an arsenal of strikes, and he he didn't use the he, – he wasn't using that front kick, you know, where you they, they kick the knee inward. He didn't you know what, I like what you said about – um sterling before yeah oh yeah okay so in this instance right yeah. strickland kind of made it boring in a sense to say i'm yeah. gonna do whatever technical i need to do in this fight yeah. to get the dub yes and that and then he knew once he was ahead with that knockdown and he became ahead in round one adesanya was gonna have to make up and then i think adesanya <laughs> shook it off really well i think right. it, even though but he still he was flat. He almost had like right in the block. It was like yeah. he couldn't, he just couldn't get no rhythm. And I give the credit to Sean Strickland. The way he stalked him in the ring in that octagon, I have never seen before. Uh, and Adesanya then, like, is that, fast. That, that yes. And then that, that, once he got him close, he uh, didn't release a lot of, he didn't, he waited. He he sat there and went through all out of Sonya's fakes and, and feints and and this, that. And then he count, he would, he would, he would hit him. And Adesanya was getting, there was a round, I think, in the fourth where Strickland lost it, or he didn't really lose it, but he didn't have to throw much to win it because 
Adesanya couldn't get through that defense. And, and, and the way he got stocked down, I give it to Strickland, 100%. And I think, and, and I think too, like, Adesanya is, like, I think, I guess you could call him a counter striker, right? Yeah, he is. No, he's a striker. Like a, he's like an elite that, striker. He's an elite that's striker. That's how he got Piera, right? He got him yeah, on that he did. counter. He, he stayed there and kept his hands up, and he, he rope-a-doped him. Yeah, Strickland didn't really give him two. No, he tried team. to rope-a-dope, and if you saw in the first round or the second round, he put his arms up like he did with, with – but Strickland came across with a, with a cross. He hit him with the with a left cross, and it got around the arms, and it hit Adesanya, and he's like, I can't do that. He did it again and got knocked again, and I'm, he, he was you know taking too much damage doing that. You know what's when every time he kind of had him on the cage, you know what I kept uh -huh. screaming? What? Keep 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 fucking swinging yeah. on this motherfucker. And yeah. that's what I was saying in my mind. <laughs> Kick him and swing on him. I felt well, he like didn't, Sean so Strickland was so calculated. I, I felt like Sean Strickland, if you I, I wish he would have got like three or four extra hits or three or I four, do. you know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, he could have chanced it. You and, said it earlier. And, so Sterling is a prime example, right? Yeah. Sterling pushed a fight. He didn't want a boring fight. So for some of the people who don't know we're referencing, we talked about Sean O'Malley's fight and how Sean O'Malley was not aggressive, but Sterling pushed it as the champion. And I feel like you don't need to push it as a champ. Adesanya didn't have to push it, but... Win the round, though. Sean Strickland was pushing him and yeah. was aggressive in a smart way. He wasn't aggressive reaching for punches. He would just stalk, stalk, and once he got an assignment to stop moving and to, to stop being on his heels, he, he could no longer get the distance he needed to, to – to, to release some of those powerful strikes that Adesanya has. And because Sean Strickland was the way he was in that Philly shell, it allowed him to be aggressive in his pressure, but not aggressive with his punches and strikes, if that makes sense. He was more calculated with those, even though he was aggressive walking up to him and pinning him against the... Let's do this. One, see, one, put on a tape, a master more. class. We'll do one more. We'll do one more after the bell. Got you. Coast radio MMA right, this is fifth thought. round, fifth round, baby. Let's go. Does he, does he deserve a rematch? Okay. Cormier said no. Okay, this is this is big. I think if I'm Dana White, I say no, but not because not because I don't think Adesanya deserves it, but I think I want to see some another style fight, and if Strickland can back up. This win. Back up the belt. Gets the win. Adesanya defend hates the belt. Fight. Defend the belt. Defend the belt against somebody else. Because like you said earlier, I don't know if if this if if he gets in a wrestler or someone can take him down, that Philly shell don't mean anything. Let's right. see him on his back. Let's he, see. He is, a B, he is a black belt uh uh jujitsu. So I, yes. I would love to see that too. I that get you. No, I get you. Yeah. Just to see if he has everything. And right. if he does that and Adesanya right. can get another fight before to show that he still has that fire that, you know, that, that, he still wants that it. He yes, still that he wants still it. wants it in a sense. And obviously he wins. I honestly, I don't know if you saw happen. his, um, his, his tweets and shit in his fucking post on Instagram. I mean, he posted like, you know, they were on the party bus and shit afterwards. Man. No, but a piece of me is like, uh, a heavyweight fighter, and and forgive those who know the reference, but he was like, man, it's hard to fight, you know, you know, heavyweight fights and all that get up training when you're waking up in silk sheets. Like, it's just, it's the truth, bro. Like, Adesanya is wearing Versace underwear, and you fucking bitches all around. I mean, excuse me, ladies all around. I mean, he's partying right now instead he, of- He is living his best life. He is living his best life. Hey, he worked for it. He did his thing. I'm not mad at it, but- Let's see the reason I don't want him losing his legacy going back into this with Strickland. Strickland already having the game plan sewed up, and then he take another L. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just don't see oh, it. I think another, oh, he gets another L. It's, it's it, this is it. Oh, oh, ooh. it's it's rough, man. It's rough. Now you're fighting somebody outside the top five, mm -hmm. and, and you now got, you're trying to have to get back. Nah, it's and not. You, and you still got that homeboy um from uh South Africa, the one that they got oh. into. That was the one. Oh. That was when he was supposed to fight in the beginning, right? Mm, um, yes. Uh, why can't I remember his name? But everybody knows who it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'd like to see him in Strickland. Yes. Boy got hands. And you see, now that happens 
let's see what Strickland does there. And then if he loses, now you have Adesanya versus that person. You know, Adesanya maybe falls to two or three in the world rankings because I think it was more of a style issue as opposed to, but you know what, Adesanya, even in his last fights, he lost that fight. He rematches. He Drickers wins. Drickers the- Duplices. Drickers yeah. Duplices. Yeah, Duplices. Yeah, and he tough, bro. Strong wrestler, upper body. But again, I think Adesanya's not on the way down, but I think it's hard to be at the top when these guys are hungry, man. These fools are hungry. Sean Strickland was hungry, man. Like, it was a – it was just a more of a – you can just see the focus. You can feel it. I, the way he stalked him, I, I can't get that out of my head, bro. He put on a master class on how to stalk someone in the ring without being too aggressive, without putting yourself in harm's way. Stalked him, stalked him. Sh- the way he cut the ring off, and then if you watch, watch it again. He would get him to a certain point in the ring. He would square his body up to where his back would be right towards the middle of the ring. Therefore, facing Adesanya in a corner, like in a corner almost, but up against the cage. It was so wonderful. I I, I couldn't, I was in shock the whole time. That's, I, the, literally, that's the UFC like Tuna Rogers. reaction. West Coast Radio, oh, DJ yes. Ray Ray, DJ we can go all day, baby. Woo, woo. So fired up, baby. <laughs> Good shit, bro.